We are Aquascape's inaugural Digital Influencer of the Year. Hey, 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 what up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood Pond King. We're coming to you from Prior Lake. We're down here getting ready to start day number one on project number 17. Project number 17 is gonna be our medium large ecosystem pond. So this is gonna be an awesome pond. I'm really excited for it. One thing I wanted to talk to you about today was how excited I am at achieving some of the things our business has been striving for since 2007. We have always had the goal in mind that we wanted to be an award-winning business, and that happened last night officially. We are Aquascape's inaugural Digital Influencer of the Year for 2020 because of this vlog, because you guys tune in, give us the thumbs up, give us comments, check us out, because of Shahi's awesome editing, because we're getting better at filming. We won Digital Influencer of the Year. So make sure to hit that subscribe button for us. This is an award-winning vlog. We're an award-winning business. I wanted to say that since 2007, and man, that feels ex really exciting to say. And hopefully that's just the start of the awards. We're, we have our eye on some other awards too. So stay tuned because we got a lot to show you. The main thing is what? That's right, water features are fun and it starts right here in Prior Lake, Minnesota. We're gonna show you the before picture. All right, everyone, thank you. a beautiful new home there's gonna be a pool right by it they have their own retention pond back there and right here is our blank canvas check that out we get to do 60 feet of stream which means we're gonna have a wetland filter kind of starting the waterfall here that comes this way then we're gonna have another stream coming this way because the master bedroom's over there we want to make sure everything's going towards that and then we want to go towards the dining room we want to go towards the kitchen dining room so everything that looks out this way is going to have an awesome view at this amazing waterfall so today is all about prepping and getting ourselves ready to attack this project on monday and we're at one of my favorite places the pond company our local supplier and this is almost everything we need to build this pond we're missing our grande skimmer and we're missing a liner and we're missing a vault but everything else is right here mark will get us ready for our final drive and we're gonna head on back to the job site thank you mark hey 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 happy monday everyone well let me show you what we're gonna do we came up with a plan what we're gonna do is we're setting that slab where all the filtration is as our zero point because that's static that's not moving that's not changing so we're going to be setting our box the top of this box at negative four and a half inches below that technically we only need negative two inches because it's 20 feet from there to here so we, we have plenty to work with a little grace period we're going to set two boxes here and we're going to do a drainage in tandem that goes all the way out there it's going to be 70 feet we have to make sure that we're using our zip level and that things are dropping the proper amount of feet all right the guys have been working well working hard things are looking really good drainage looks great they have it going just how we want it to fantastic all right so we're gonna wrap up the day the main thing you saw us do today was just drainage right i'm gonna give you a little quick update on what that drainage entails so as you can see we got the perforated drainage and it's drilled on each side so once the water enters this pipe it can't leave the pipe until it gets to our exit that's what's so cool about this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it to the side and then we're gonna wrap it with the uh, gravel and then we'll cut this out. So once it'll drain everything that comes off rain-wise, we'll drain into this and go all the way to where we want it to drain. And then we'll catch all the rain that would come here. And then we can dig our awesome pond and not be in the way. Tomorrow, you're gonna actually see some more of the creative process. Today was just a, can we get any forward progress done with such sloppy conditions? And the answer was, yes, we can. That's it for today. I don't know if you can even call it day two, but it was the end of day two. Sorry, we don't have much for footage of action shots. It was just a matter of trying not to slip and fall while it was so soggy. We'll talk to you in the morning. Thank you. All right, so it's the start of another day here on our project for the Medium Ecosystem Pond. We're going to be digging out this pond today, and in the process of digging it, we're going to be able to use that soil 
and make sure the swale goes to this drain box. So if there is rain between now and project completion, we're going to be able to say, hey, it worked great, and you can even tell because there's no standing water. That's what we're up to. We'll show you throughout the day. All right, everyone, time to get to it. appreciate that Brad is paying attention to the details, making sure these line up, that they're level and looking good. Right now we're just working on dirt work. We've got two tons of gravel in here, but it wasn't quite enough, so. <laughs> There's Justin doing, being Justin. So we sent Mark to go get more. I want to raise that gravel up quite a ways so that any drainage goes in there and it just goes out. We don't really want too much of this dirt clay in there because that'll impede any water from draining. So right now, the other thing we're working on is we're working on creating the swale so we don't have a lake here if there's any more raining. And we're just gonna make this active immediately. So we're gonna make sure all this dirt is shaped so that it's going towards our drainage and then it'll be working today. So that's what's so fun about landscaping, right? There's always a problem to solve. No projects are ever the same. Even though this is a repeatable process, we don't create the same thing twice. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. You're gonna love it because we do one episode a week. You're not gonna wanna miss anything because we have some really cool projects to show you. Thanks for tuning in, and I can't wait to show you more. We'll talk to you soon, everyone. All right, we're on site. Dan just got here with the boulders. He's gonna put them right where we want them. We've got awesome tiers going on here. The goal is to really try and get maybe a big boulder sticking up out of the water off of this middle tier here. Maybe another one that's sticking out and protruding a little bit out of the water over there. Water line's gonna sit a little bit higher than normal, but I think it's gonna be fantastic looking because we're gonna be able to take all of our excess water down into that, into the drainage field, and then we're gonna be able to really have this inviting presence with the pond. It's the start of day four. We're on site. Check it out. We're going to get to building a pond. Thanks everybody. We'll talk to you in a bit. As you can see, we're rocking away. We got our fish tunnel in there. It's a fish tunnel. It's not necessarily a cave, but it's gonna be really awesome. We do everything we can to give you success and, and really help your fish avoid any kind of uh, pitfalls or predators. Our team's really gelling right now. We're working with the rental machine and we're really placing a lot of stone here and uh, things are going well, so. gonna do it for the end of day four on project number 17 we're excited it's going really well we've got some huge boulders in there we've got our destination boulder picked out ready to go in we're gonna customize this whole side so that boulder sits in here really opening up this space the rock work is looking fantastic Justin filled in all the small stuff in there 
against the big rocks and that really makes that big rock look huge because it'll contrast all the different sizes looks like a sweet shoreline so really happy with the way that looks nice work justin hey thanks man safe productive day guys we did really awesome today stay tuned because we're going to be here tomorrow and we're going to be rocking in this pond and then we're going to have have some more fun hey hey it's a good day to be alive it's day five <laughs> All right, we're on the project and things are going really well. I just got back from picking boulders and the guys have been hard at work. It looks awesome. We've got some really cool boulder work going on here. We're gonna bring this in and we're gonna start working in some driftwood that Lisa gave us to really soften up this edge. Things are looking fantastic. All right, everyone, in a couple minutes, we'll show you some more stuff, but enjoy the show for now. That's what you want to see with a destination boulder getting used right away. Justin decided to have lunch on the destination boulder. It's going to be pretty cool because that's going to be sticking just a little bit out of the water on that nose. So when you come up and walk onto it, it's going to be very inviting. You're going to want to be able to just sit down and put your feet in the water much like Justin does. And then that rock had a cool little step to it. So we're going to make sure to utilize that step and kind of build our way out and make shoreline up here. So it's really easy to get in and out of if someone decides they want to go in there all right so we're getting ready to put in one of our waterfall rocks the huge guy that's where all the pumps are going to converge and come over that guy So that's gonna do it for the end of day five. We were working on that frame rock for quite a long time. So it, uh, we had it where we wanted and then the strap was stuck in there and we had to figure out how to get the strap out. In that process, that rock came forward. No one got hurt. Had to lift the rock up out of there. So basically that rock took us about three hours to get it set where we want it. However, it's where we want and we have this waterfall looking stellar. Got a lot of cool things to do, a lot of cool things to show you and that's gonna do it for now. Hit that subscribe button, tune in next week where we're finishing off this pond. It's gonna be awesome. Keep watching everyone, thank you. Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens, living works of art, one yard at a time.